Okay, I see how it is. I can't even be a drama teacher without bastards getting in the way of my goal. But since I now have a restraining order from the school, I'm not gonna say crap about what happened. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase and say this. This is the 55th time I've been fired. Where in the bloody heck am I gonna work next? Oh no. I will work at Dickies. Welcome to Dickies. How may I help you? We would like to get two pulled pork sandwiches with mac and cheese and two Hawaiian punches, please. Oh my gosh. That was so loud. Say that again, but more quietly, please. Okay, what the heck? Woman, I was speaking in a normal indoor voice. I don't know what dimension you live in if you think I wasn't. It's true. And besides, our friend Daddy left Jack in the box the other day due to an employee being rude to him. Who the heck asked you, you whiny baby brat? You know, if I wanted to use you as a punching bag, I could. No please. Have mercy. I already get beaten up by Kevin enough, and I don't need a second bully on my hands. Lady, if you want a loud voice, you've got one. What the flip is wrong with you? Why'd you have to offend poor Jimmy like that? You know what? We're out of here. Come on Jimmy. Let's leave this place and go to Chick-fil-A instead before I slam this woman's face against a wall. Welcome to Dickies. How may I help you? The Great Pinhead would like to order some orange chicken. Okay, first of all, how in the heck are you great? Second of all, we don't serve orange chicken here. We serve barbecue food. You dare defy the Great Pinhead's power? That's it. The Great Pinhead demands his orange chicken right now. You're then right I'm gonna defy you. And I'll defy you even more if you don't leave this place right now. If the Great Pinhead ever sees you again, he will bring you to hell to torture you for all eternity. Welcome to... Wait a minute. Don't I know you from AMW? What are you talking about? Of course not. Are you sure? I'm not lying. I bet my life on it. Are you 100% positive? I'm not freaking lying. Which of those four words don't you understand? Yeah right. From your shouting at me, I would say no. Okay fine. You caught me red-handed. Also, I got fired from my job at ANW, but that won't stop me from reaching my goal. You know, if you keep your impatient bullcrap up, you're just gonna keep getting fired. Maybe even thrown out of town. Right? I literally throw you out of this stupid bar because we start on to myself if you don't remove yourself. Now. That just proves my point. And since you haven't changed a bit since NW, you totally deserve that frost by me. Goodbye, you jerkhead. Welcome to... Well, well, fudging. Well, if it isn't the same employee from Burger King, who by the way, now has a job at Dickies. And don't think for an instant that I never recognized you from Starbucks. So you not noticing me from Starbucks was a lie? Yep. A big fat ugly stinky turd lie, in fact. Which is what you're gonna be again if you keep taunting me. Yeah. And what are you gonna do about it? Eat me like you did back at Burger King? Okay woman, once again, you have crossed the line. And now you must suffer my wrath. No please. I'm sure we can talk this out like civilized people this time around. Should have thought about that before crossing my gorgeous lizard self. Oh good. You've reformed. Now I don't want to get into this now, who in the heck knows how much time you need. But I sure as heck would like to know what the heck a giant lizard was doing in the back of my business digesting your bratty butt. You don't want to freaking know. You know something? You're right. But you were also rude to my customers, which is why. Yeah yeah, I'm fired. You don't have to tell me. No no, not just that. Oh? Then what? You're also banned from my dickies for the rest of your ugly hearted life. Now get out before I hack your TikTok. Finally, both the giant lizard and the bratty frick are gone. Now my business can resume work for the day. 
But before I do, that's all folks. Tune in next time.